Hi there. I'm Michelle Berbere. I'm an artist in residence at the Georgetown Lombardi Arts and Humanities Program. And when we're not in the middle of a pandemic, I lead expressive writing workshops at the MedStar Georgetown University Hospital in Washington, D.C. Things being what they are, I still lead the workshops, but via Zoom or email. If you're interested in participating in one of these workshops, please contact me at the email address provided below this video. Today I'm going to read one of my favorite poems. It's called Painting the Gate by Mae Swenson. I suppose the poem is written for children, but I think it has a good message for all of us. When in the middle of a project, or after I've completed one, and I find myself being too critical, I think of this poem. I say to myself, but wait, I've painted the gate. Listen to the poem and you'll see why. Painting the Gate by May Swenson. I painted the mailbox, that was fun. I painted it postal blue. Then I painted the gate. I painted a spider that got on the gate. I painted his mate. I painted the ivy around the gate. Some stones I painted blue and part of the cat as he went by. I painted my hair. I painted my shoes. I painted the slats, both front and back, all their beveled edges too. I painted the numbers on the gate. I shouldn't have, but it was too late. I painted the posts, each side and top. I painted the hinges, the handle, the lock. Several ants and a moth asleep in a crack. At last I was through. I painted the gate. Shut me out with both hands dark blue. As well as my nose, which early on, because of a sudden itch, got painted. But wait, I had painted the gate. I hope you enjoyed this poem. And next time, when all you see is what is not quite right with your project, instead of what you've accomplished, remind yourself, but wait, I painted the gate. Until next time, take care.